Hello everyone, greetings to all. In this video, we are going to learn about the values of bending moment, deflection and shear force for a cantilever beam under various loading conditions. Now we will see the first condition. A cantilever beam carries a uniformly distributed load. It's shown in the figure 12. So in this case, the maximum bending moment is occurred at its fixed end and the maximum deflection is occurred at its free end. Please, please remember, this is a very important one, the maximum bending moment is occurred at fixed end and the maximum deflection will occur at free end. So the maximum bending moment value is WL square by 2. The maximum deflection value is WL power 4 divided by 8 EI. So please please remember don't confuse with other values for a cantilever beam it carries a UDL means its maximum bending moment value is WL square by 2 it is occurred at fixed end and the maximum deflection value is WL power 4 divided by 8 EI it is occurred at free end the shear force value or the reactions are equal to WL or V equal to W L. In a competitive examination, what type of questions they are ask remains? They are simply give the beam conditions and ask about their bending moment value and ask about their deflection and ask about at what point the maximum deflection will occur, at what point the maximum bending moment will occur. This type of questions may be asked. So please remember the cantilever beam carries UDL means its maximum bending moment value is WL square by 2 and its maximum deflection value is WL power 4 divided by 8 EI. Now we will move to the next condition that is a cantilever beam carries a concentrated load at its free end. So in this type of case the maximum bending moment is PL. You simply multiply it multiply the concentrated load and length for in this case and its maximum deflection value is PL cube divided by 3 EI the reactions are equal to P in this case also the maximum bending moment is occurred at fixed end and the maximum deflection is occurred at its free end for a cantilever beam carries a concentrated load P at the free end means the maximum bending moment value is PL and the maximum deflection value is PL cubed divided by 3 EI. Now we will move to the next condition. A cantilever beam carries a concentrated load at any point that is for a distance of A from a free end and for a distance of B from R. So in this case the maximum bending moment value is PB. It is also occurred at free end. And the maximum deflection value is PB squared divided by 6 EI into 3L minus B. It is occurred at free end. Under the point load what is its deflection? The deflection value is PB cubed divided by 3I. This is very important. Under the point load means its deflection value is PB cubed by 3 EI. The reaction R equal to V equal to P. Now we will move to the next condition. A beam is fixed at one end and simply supported to the other end. It carries a UDL means what is its maximum bending moment and what is its maximum deflection. So in this case the beam conditions are shown in the figure 15 and it carries a UDL throughout its length and it is simply supported to one end and fixed to the other end. The maximum bending moment value is WL square by 8. It is similar to simply supported beam. And the maximum deflection value is 5 w, sorry, WL power 4 divided by 185 EI. Please remember 
the maximum deflection value for a simply supported beam carries a UDL means its deflection value is 5 WL power 4 divided by 384 EI. But in the case, the maximum deflection value is WL power 4 divided by 185 EI. It is occurred at 0.4215L. The shear force values are R1 equal to 3 WL divided by 8 and the R2 equal to 5 WL divided by 8. Now we will move to the next condition. A beam is simply supported at one end and fixed to the other end. It carries a point load that is concentrated load at center. Means what is its deflection and what is its bending moment. So in this case the maximum bending moment is 3 PL divided by 16. Under the point load means its, its, its bending moment value is 5 PL divided by 32. The maximum deflection is occurred at a distance of 0.4472L and its value is PL cubed by 48EI square root of 5. Another point load means 7PL cubed by 768EI. The reactions are R1 equal to 5P by 16 and the reactions are R2 equal to 11P by 16. So please remember the maximum bending moment and the maximum deflection. The maximum bending moment value is 3 PL divided by 16 and it is occurred at fixed end. The maximum deflection value is PL cubed divided by 48 EI into square root of 5 and it is occurred at a distance of 0.4472 L. So this type of beams, the deflection values, bending moment values and the distances are very very important for all kind of competitive examinations so please download this material as a pdf i also shared this link in our description video please kindly download it and learn thoroughly for this kind of deflection bending moment and shear force values for different type of beams thanks for watching this video please subscribe our channel for more videos thank you